gifts for geeks that'll make them shriek with joy, of course. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geek Beat. It's a Festivus miracle. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by lynda.com. John and I just got back from a whirlwind trip to New York. There were only two reasons we went. Number one, secret sales at Adorama, where you can buy all kinds of electronics and photo and video gear. Number two, to party with John Bon Jovi, Sports Illustrated photographer David Bergman, and all sorts of other NFL and, and, and basketball players who I don't know their names because, well, I'm not plugged into that, but they were awesome and super nice. It was all put on by Adorama and Canon, and there was sushi, lots and lots and lots of sushi. I was a happy girl. With all that going on, DJI was also announcing their brand new Inspire quadcopter in San Francisco. If you were reading our website and our social posts, you know it looks freaking awesome. It records 4K video at 30 and 24 frames per second. Because of how they designed the entire copter, you'll get a full 360 degree view. The camera is below the rest of the gear. All that info at geekbeat.tv slash DJI Inspire. But wait! There's more! Adorama is giving away the previous version, a phantom quadcopter, to one of you. That's right, one of you guys. Go to geekbeat.tv slash giveaways for all the details. I want one. Uh, you're not eligible, Dave. Go! Isn't giving what the holiday spirit is all about anyway? Where's your Christmas spirit? An eye for an eye! Adorama's doing it, and so are we. On today's holiday gift guide, we're giving you all kinds of ideas for what to give somebody on your list, no matter what kind of geek they are. All the links are geekbeat.tv slash gift guide. Do you know a geek with a loose screw or two or five? Right there, right, right, right oh, there. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally have a loose screw. <laughs> The $65 iFixit Pro Tech Toolkit will be a welcome addition to his or her workbench. Hello. Ideas. Dave, listening? Well, oh, I'm sorry. Were you paying attention? Ideas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, inside you'll find 54 bits, a small magnet, and a nut driver. All they need to get to work on those projects this season. I wish we could have brought it on board while traveling back from New York. It certainly would have helped kept John P. from banging on his iPad many the entire time, John P. I was sitting there working on my computer like a good host and working on this episode. Thank God for my Vmoto headphones because it helped drown out the bang, 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 bang as he played on his new Bitcoin billionaire game. Mining bitcoins. <sighs> it's free. I now know what I don't like, but I don't know what you like, what you don't like, what you want out of your Geek Beat viewing experience. Will you do me a huge favor? please? Let me know. We're looking to produce some more content for you guys, but we want to make sure it's what you want. So we launched a survey to help us learn. Please go to geekbeat.tv slash survey. Pretty please. For geeky gamers, the Xbox One Assassin's Creed Unity bundle is sure to please. It's an entire game room in a box. I'm talking Xbox One wireless controller and download tokens for Assassin's Creed Unity and Assassin's Creed 4. This is pretty much everything you need except for the TV, right down to the HDMI cable in a $350 bundle. If your geek already has an Xbox One, for $60 you can give the entire Halo Master Chief saga, Halo, Halo 2, 3, and 4, plus Halo Nightfall and Halo 5 Guardians multi player beta that goes live on December 29th. It's rated for mature gamers and speed talkers. Take a breath. Whew. If your geek is a teen instead, then consider Destiny for Xbox One. It's an age-appropriate action-adventure story that allows players to create their own character and earn gear and vehicles as they defeat powerful foes. Now, I'm not much of a gamer, but I am a, more of a movie and TV buff. <laughs> Stop laughing, Dave. Okay, I'm not so much of a, a, a buff as a viewer of the occasional TV show, and hey, I, I watch movies. I mean, it may take me a few days to complete them, but anyway, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about your geek for the holiday, and for sure you're going to want something to watch together during the holidays, right? Maybe like Elf or something. I like the Fire TV. This thing is awesome. Great interface, voice search, and if you're a Prime member, it's the best way to get content from Amazon. 
If you or your geek is like us around the Geek House, they'd love a Geek Beat Edition up desk, a desk that you can sit at, stand at, squat out, or do jumping jacks at, whatever. However you want to work, it gives you the flexibility to do it. It's motorized with three presets for your favorite heights. And the GB version, I'm then by the GB because I totally shortcutted that when writing this episode, I mean Geek Beat version, includes cup holders and grommets for routing wires with options for the UPS mount under the desk and extra power in the side grommets. Got to go with the extra power. I think you'd like saying grommets. <laughs> How can you not like saying grommets? And I love to combine my updesk experience with the Rebel Desk treadmill. It goes half a mile to two miles an hour, so it's not too fast to work efficiently, yet it keeps my brain and my body going and active. Yeah. Now, if you get a little warm while walking, the Dyson Bladeless fans are freaking awesome. They cool down a space while looking great, making very little noise, and they're not a danger to people like John sticking his head through them. During the winter, I use my Dyson Hot, too. Both are totally worth it. If active, but not using any effort is more your style or their style, the EcoRico electric scooter is an awesome gift. Yeah. <laughs> it goes 20 miles an hour, seriously. Every single geek who has walked in the door of this building has fallen in love with this thing. People use it to take a quick break from work or use it while working on conference calls or to show off and have competitions. Yeah. I like to think of that as team building rather than as time wasting. I ride it down to the bathroom. I did not need to know that, Dave. I love my 13-inch MacBook Air. 12 hours of battery time, the latest OS X Yosemite operating system, and great graphics powered by a dual-core i5 chip for just under $1,100. But on the Windows front, consider the Lenovo Yoga 2 or the newest 3 multi-touch 13-inch tablet. At $850 for the 2, it's a great computer. On a budget and don't need a full computer? Well, you can still afford to give a geek a portable computer by picking up a $199 Acer Chromebook. This is perfect for students with Wi-Fi access or anyone who uses Google Docs and spreadsheets. Regardless of what computer they use, though, they can use it to learn whatever they want and better themselves with lynda.com. Now, I'm a practical kind of person, so a subscription from lynda.com slash geekbeat would be perfect for somebody like me. They can explore a variety of topics, learn what they want, and maybe even find a new career path. Exploration is key to finding your passion. Wouldn't that be the best gift you could give somebody this season? Seven days for free at lynda.com slash geekbeat. For some fun, the $34 SEMA X1 Quadcopter is a GeekBeat Editor's Choice product, which means there's a full review on our website and also means we had tons of fun flying it around the geek house. Pablo even got it to flip around. All right, well, that is it. It's time for me to take a break because I've been traveling all day and shooting this, and I can't even talk. As you can see, I'm going to go take a break. It's time for me to get out of here. And before I do, I want to wish you guys an early Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, uh, Jolly Festivus. Um, what else is there? Uh, Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa? Yeah. Whatever you celebrate. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> With nested measuring spoons, this is the droid you're looking for. This mobile vision six device charging station is such a great gift. Not only can you plop an assortment of the six adaptive zoom soldiers needed. The result? Razor.